In this video, we'll talk about what happens when you add HCl hydrochloric acid plus H2O, water. A simple answer is that the HCl will break apart. You'll get H plus plus Cl minus, and then you'll have your H2O. That's a pretty good answer. But there are a few things we should kind of think about here. First of all, HCl, usually when we have it in the lab as a liquid, it's already dissolved in water. It's just HCl with an AQ after it, hydrochloric acid aqueous. If we want to look at adding pure HCl, that'll be a gas or a compressed gas of HCl and compressed into a liquid. So HCl gas plus water, which we know to be most of the time a liquid, that'll give us the H plus plus the Cl minus plus the H2O. But the H plus, the hydrogen ion, and the Cl minus, they're dissolved in this water here. So we could just call them H plus aqueous and Cl minus aqueous. And we do that by putting a little AQ after each of them. So that would be a very reasonable way to write this reaction. This H plus, that's kind of important because in chemistry, we talk about acids. H plus is what makes them an acid. Think about pH. This H right here, this is what we're talking about. But whenever H plus is in water, it'll combine with the water to form H3O plus. So instead of H plus, we often call it H3O plus plus, and it even has a special name. It's called the hydronium ion. We see it quite often in chemistry. So we could write the reaction HCl plus H2O yields H3O plus plus Cl minus, and that would be a good way to do it as well. We should note that HCl, that's a strong acid, so it breaks apart completely when it's put in water. That's why we have an arrow here, because all of this will break apart in the water to give us our H plus and our Cl minus. Many people wouldn't say this is a chemical reaction, more that it's a chemical process where this is dissolving or dissociating in the water. But either way, this is a good way to write and describe what is happening when we add HCl to H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.